What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is the Auditorium, I react to video game music for the first time. Today's the return of Sonic. Sonic fans have been getting a lot of content lately. <laughs> and uh, you even get a bonus because I'm throwing in a bonus song into this one that wasn't supposed to be here. We're going to be hearing uh, Cool Edge, though the song I was supposed to hear was Cool Edge Night. But since day was not requested, I just decided to throw it in because I know the comments would just be like, where's daytime and yeah. So this is requested by the German Wizard, and this was voted on for my next episode of VGM Vibe 6, which is going to be uh, talking about video game music that is cold-related, snow, ice, etc. And Cool Edge Night was voted amongst one of them. Fun fact, apparently, this is kind of a really small world, but uh, like a week ago I did Team Sonic Racing, and I heard, uh, oh god, I don't remember. Ice, ice something. And do I still have that? No, I don't know where it is. What did I hear? I can pull it up. It was ice something. Ice Mountain. And the comments told me that that is actually related to Cool Edge, <laughs> which was not planned at all. Um, I don't remember much how it sounded. I do remember, though, that it sounded kind of Christmassy. So, anyways, we're going to hear day first, and then the one that was actually requested, night. Um, and we'll talk more about it. Also, I don't know if I've done Unleashed before. I don't know if this is a debut. There's a lot of information when it comes to Sonic. And these are both from the channel Deoxys Prime. Let's stop talking and listen to Cool Edge Day, the bonus video. Whoop. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I've done Unleashed before. I have. I've done rooftop run. Day and night. Oh, that's all I've done? This is my second time hearing a song on Leech. It's weird, it's like... It's like half jungle beat, half punk. <laughs> Or it's like a third jungle, a third punk, and a third Christmas. I don't know when Sonic Unleashed was released. So I don't know if this is like already like in the 3D era or... Let me know. Let me know whatever you want about these because I need to be able to talk about them. Seven fast, so Yeah, I mean it just sounds It still sounds Christmassy to me, not really Well I don't know. I guess we'll see. I just realized, I've been hearing a lot of music lately that has a day and night cycle to it. What are the odds? It sounds very Sonic. I don't know how to put that. Like 2000s Sonic. It sounds like very... Yeah. Does it have the composer information? Nope. We have some time. Let's look at Sonic Unleashed.
2008. I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to be like 2002 or something. Platform game. This is interesting. I'm glad I read some of this. I'll talk more about that in a second. We got about a minute left. Interesting plot. Oh, I didn't see the closer yet. I'll, I'll look at him in a second. I'm actually glad I decided to put this one in here. Again. Not requested, not voted, or just, just picked it. Yeah, good night. <laughs> uh, normally I wouldn't do something like that, right? I only do a request, but... You know, there's just some times where I'll, like, I'll do an exception. and If something has a day or a night cycle, Sonic is kind of an exception too because they also have Act 1s and Act 2s. It's kind of like, I feel like I kind of have to do it if I remember to do it. But I can't guarantee every single time. But in this case, I figured since the nighttime version was voted for to be in its own episode of me talking about it uh, and not reacting to it, the reaction is now. This is the reaction part. Later, I talk about it in VGM Vibe 6. I figured it was kind of just like a no brainer to add this one, which I'm glad I did. Because based on what I read, which is only like 10 seconds of reading, it seems like its own version of the Act 1 and Act 2 of Classic Sonic. So before I go into the next one, which is the requested one. The plot follows Sonic as he attempts to restore the world after his nemesis, Dr. Eggman, which I now know why they're called that. The comments told me in my last episode, in my last Sonic video, why Robotnik and Eggman names are twisted up. Shatters, shatters it with, um, well, let me start over. The plot follows Sonic as he attempts to restore the world after his nemesis Dr. Eggman shatters it with a powerful laser to unleash Dark Gaia, an ancient evil which periodically transforms Sonic into a werewolf logo. Dubbed a war Werehog? Gameplay features two distinct styles, daytime stages, incorporates Sonic traditional platforming and trademark speed, explains the fastness of it. While nighttime stages see Sonic transform into the Werehog and engage in slower combat against waves of enemies using the Werehog's brute's strength. Interesting. Well, I wonder if that's a spoiler for the next song. So I'm going to assume that this next one. Well, I think the given here is that we're not going to hear the tick tick ta tick tick ta tick tick. You know, no, no, no fast beat. I think the emphasis here is going to be that dun, 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 but I wonder what they're going to do with it. But this is the one that was voted and the one that was requested. Oh, and I'll, I'll look up the composer later. But this is Cool Edge Knight. So now I know some context. Interesting. He's a werehog. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> That's sick. Drastically different. This kind of sounds like tea. Is this tea? I'm not. I'm not good at distinguishing closures by its own. Tomoyo Tani. Okay. I recognize that name though. He did Crisis City. Whoa. Almost like an entirely different game. Oh, that base is so fat, dude. You know what this reminds me of? Oh my gosh, it sounds like it sounds like the Street Fighter EX Alpha series. It had this very like kind of jazzy hip hop sound. Ooh. Whoa! You know what this sounds like? It sounds like Starlight Zone a little bit. You know what I mean? The sound of that instrument sounded like Starlight Zone. Woo! I love the dynamic difference. Good job, Patreon voters. Good job, Sonic fans. This is a perfect title, Cool Edge. Half as long, too. <laughs> uh, man, I'm not even mad that it's that short, but oh man. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do after this video is over is I'm going to go listen to my rooftop run reaction. I do not remember how long ago that was, but. Uh, I did hear, I didn't hear him in the same video, but I heard Rooftop Run and then Daytime and then Nighttime. Uh, but now that I know what I know, it's I'm very, I'm very curious. Okay. Well, you know, this one's weird for a couple of reasons. One of the rare times that I look up, um, sometimes here, here's like a brief rundown of some of my videos. Either I don't look up anything at all. Sometimes if I'm curious enough, I'll look up maybe a release date and some basic plot points or uh, it's like a summary. In this case, I was like kind of curious. So I went into the plot a little bit and the mechanics and I'm glad I did because it, uh, I would have never known, right? To me, Sonic has always been Sonic speed, point A to point B. But of course it makes sense after 30 years there's gotta be some variation in the gameplay. You know, I know they've gone behind the back. I've known they've done like a, uh, a whole thing with like, uh, like he was grinding on rails, like with uh, kind of like a soap shoes sort of gimmick. I know he's done the Olympics thing with Mario, uh, Frontiers. So I wasn't, I've always heard of Sonic Unleashed, but I don't know what it was until now. So that's interesting. Oh, and then there's the the Wii game, the, mm, the Black Knight. There was another one you guys told me about. It was like Black Knight and another one where it's like a little more story based. So this one seems like it's uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of thing, right? That's what it sounds like. I want to see gameplay of it, to be honest. Well, I will. I will, actually. Since this is going to be part of the VGM Vibe series, which again, if you haven't seen those, it's different from my reaction videos. I have a playlist of those. Those talk about specific themes uh, for, you know, like I'm elaborating on them. So I've seen what it looks like. I know what's going on at that point. As of right now, I don't, but I will by the time that video comes out. So I'm um, very interested to see, you know, like how they took the traditional Sonic into the whatever this Werehog thing is. I'm very curious if uh, like the camera changes or, you know, that's that sounds really interesting to me. And I wonder if it's treated the same as like an act where it's like this stage is this and this stage is that, or if the time changes in real time and then it just changes that way you know 
so many questions, right? It's like, where can this, where can this go? The songs though were totally like, damn. I'm glad I, I'm glad I heard the first one, right? I'm glad I heard the first one because it shows me just how drastic that change is. I didn't even think. I, I'm sure there was. I, I can't. I, it's too early for me to say. I only heard it one time. By the time I hear it later on, I might get more familiar with it. But I didn't catch any motifs from the first daytime one. Maybe it's there. It just sounded so like they really emphasize day and night here, which is pretty awesome. Because the first one, the first one, I'll admit, sounded a little more of the theme of like. But I'm guessing, since people voted on it, is cold and snowy, something like that. That sounded like it. it you know, it has that Christmassy kind of sound. I have to go listen to that Team Sonic Racing too. This this video is making me want to revisit old videos. But it definitely has that, like, that kind of more Christmassy thing. It even has like that punk guitar stuff. While this one was just like straight like flavor and kind of funky and just, like sort of hip hop thing from the '90s. Lots of bass, a lot of oomph, a lot of cool instrument choices. Everything sounded so different. I was thinking it was going to sound, when, when I saw the synopsis and I was like, oh, he's going to turn into a were hog or whatever. I thought it would sound more, I don't know, freaky or kind of scary sounding. I think the second one requires context a little bit. Like, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that that sounded very snowy or icy to me, but kind of, a little bit, just a little bit. The first one I, I think sounded more, but um, I could see why people would prefer the second one. Although this isn't a preference thing, but the thing is no one requested the first one at all or, uh, or voted for it in the thing. Uh, but I'm glad I did do it that way because that was sick. It, it, it really, hearing both of them this way enhanced uh, each other. The first one sounds really cool because of the second one. The second one sounds really, really cool because of the first one, you know? I like that contrast quite a bit. If I heard either by themselves, I would still like them, but the impact would be significantly reduced. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm confident in saying that. Even the second one by itself would have been cool, but... <laughs> cool. But... That hearing against the first one, yeah, that was, that's really, really awesome. And then this again, the title, Cool Edge. Man, Sonic is... Ugh, I don't know how to explain it, but cool. <laughs> I keep saying that. It really is. It really is. So feel free to tell me whatever you want about these. Um, I do need to be able to talk about them in depth. And then later on, I will be talking about them in that episode. So I'll have more context and see footage of it and all that. But for now, feel free to uh, tell me. Did this game... Did you like this game? Was it... You just let me know. I know Sonic games are kind of, uh, but people seem to agree that the soundtracks are always going to hit. You know, for example, when I did Sonic Go Six, Crisis City, everyone loved the song, but the, but the game, everyone's like, eh, we don't talk about the game. <laughs> Anyways, thank you to the German Wizard. Thank you to everyone that voted on my Patreon poll. Uh, just as a side note, I'm not trying to like plug, but the people that vote in those uh, VGM Vibes episode, which is monthly, uh, a lot of those were free members too, meaning you just sign up for patreon and you can vote as well so if you want to be a part of it have your voice heard a little bit there you go okay well that is the return of sonic unleashed i don't know when the next i don't know how many other requests i have for this game are but cool <laughs> i say cool all the time so uh it's just meant to be here all right thank you to all my patrons i couldn't be here without them thanks to you for watching thank you sonic fans i will see you all in the next video and i'll see you in vgm vibes vgm vibe 6 